the Effortless Collection, Effortless Seamless, the second seamless collection at Honor Active and a collection that took us so long to think about, to create, to trial, to test, to break, to remake, we went through it all. And I think Effortless Collection is by far one of the best leggings I have ever worn. My name is Chrissy Cella. This is my story and how I founded Honor Active. I'm gonna be taking you through the highs, the lows, and complete transparency. Because you are the reason Honor Active even exists. You are the reason I am here today sharing my story on this platform. I wanna take you through absolutely everything. The whole inspiration was we wanted something completely different to classic. So you have your classic seamless collection that's compressive, snugs you in, snatches you up, holds you in place, and it's very thick, moldable material. So that's why with classic, I wanted to start off with something very classic, very simple to the point. Now with effortless, think completely opposite. It's second skin, it's one single knit jersey. It's super, super stretchy. And it feels like every time you put it on, you don't have to like move it around. It's effortlessly on your body. That's the whole concept behind it. This collection for me is definitely for someone who is not afraid to show her curves, is someone who wants to flaunt what she has. It's someone who is not afraid to show her confidence and is someone who genuinely is just so proud of who she is. So that's what I had in mind when me and the design team were building this collection. We wanted her to feel confident. We wanted her to feel stylish. We wanted her to feel sexy. Like, why can't you feel all those things as a woman? All those elements contribute to you feeling so extraordinary, right? And that's always what we have in the back of our mind. If a woman will wear this collection, will she feel extraordinary? Ordinary. So that's what we always leveled it back to and that's what I think we've achieved with Effortless. Effortless is a foundational collection. So what that means is what I want to do as time goes on with Honor Active is I want to build collections that stand the test of time. So hence the names as well. Classic, Effortless and so forth. The names pretty much add to the longevity aspect of things. So I want these collections to be here in two, three, potentially four, five years time, and they still in style, they're still foundational items that you can constantly pick up in multiple colors and you'll forever love and love and love. Oh God. Shall we show them the previous one? No. Be right back, I'll go get it. So, Actually, it took roughly eight months from design to sampling, trialing, production, and launch. And the reason being is this was actually the original. Don't laugh. This is the original Effortless. No, they didn't do the way. This is why you have to take a deep breath when you get sample one. You guys don't even know the half of it. When you get sample one, your whole team has to tell you to calm the fuck down because the way I'm feeling like Power Ranger right now. To be honest, the material is not bad, but this is not the material we approve. Can you see it? Look how it's like, that's not what we approve. We're not gonna talk about that. So anyway, so as you can see, there's a huge difference. And I'm only joking when I throw that behind me because I look back at that and I'm so happy that there's been so many processes and I look back at that and I'm like, that just shows growth because, you know, that could really have worked, but I just knew it was just too complex. There was too much going on and I didn't want to limit someone. So that's why we stripped it all back. We focused more on the construction rather than the design. And I think this is one thing that has proven to me more difficult. <laughs> I just saw the, I just saw, they make my ass, the, the ass look nice, but this pattern. <gasps> There's one thing to design a pair of leggings with an incredible print, an incredible st structure design, incredible contour lines. And then there's a completely different story to actually construct it in a way that molds your body, makes anybody look absolutely incredible. Even from the construction of the, 
the gusset to the construction of the scrunch. All these things took actually so much longer than the design itself. So for example, what we decided to do was a two tier band. And the reason we decided to do this is we wanted still the band to have compression to it without restriction. And it also is tapered in, so it sucks you in and also keeps you at hold and really secure. Then another thing was the subtle contouring that our design team decided to place and kind of mimic what Classic Seamless had. So you have the contour lines right at the front to make to give you the illusion of a smaller waist and snatch you in, but also it curves all the way around without being too significant of a bum contour just keeping it really elegant and simple. And then the biggest hurdle we faced was the scrunch. Now the scrunch, I cannot stress this enough, the amount of scrunch bum leggings we bought, we broke, we trialed, we tested, we broke again. Um, and we weren't getting it right. And the reason being is because we actually found that a lot of scrunch bum leggings had elastic in it or just too much stretch to them. And what would happen is if you would pull it at a certain strength, it would break. So what we decided to do is we did a five tier scrunch bum that was still very subtle and not too in your face. We decided to really, really add more stitching to it inside the legging to make it stronger and stand the test of time. So that's what took a significant amount of time and then it was also the construction of the bra. Did we want to add adjustable straps? Did we maybe just want to keep it super simple and effortlessly put on? Basically, this construction of the effortless bra, you're gonna see the stitch in here, here and here and here, right? And that's something, that's a pet peeve of mine. I just instantly think it makes the product look quite cheap. So I was just suggesting, and this is the bit where you tell me no or yes, that we get a bit of fabric and we essentially stitch that over, but I'd rather have a stitch hidden and hidden. But we make this look as part of the construction and the design. I would rather have a side stitch where you don't see it, because when girls are wearing this, especially if you're on social, and I'm doing like a back thing. So remember, the whole concept behind Effortless was you put it on and it's effortless. It, it's just beautiful on your body and it's practical and it's fit for purpose. So we stripped it back completely. We kept it really simple, really elegant. Uh, you don't fiddle around with it too much. Introducing Effortless Collection sampling. Okay guys, don't watch the bra because the bra's not there, but watch the leggings. So this is Effortless Collection. This has taken us too many attempts to get right with fabric, with stitching, with everything. So I'm wearing a small, it's too big for me. I'm normally an extra small, especially with this material, it's super stretchy. So what we're doing now is the last fitting before we have the final tweak and actually put it into production. So we're gonna make the waistband a little bit tighter. I think we might need to drop it a tiny more. A new bum construction with a tiny bit of scrunch. I don't like anything overly scrunched. I think it can look, it can look a little bit cheap. So this is quite subtle with very slight contouring. We have a contrast waistband, so contrast in color, dark and lighter. Or lighter. And what we darker. also did was added a three layer to the bra, so that means the, the pads won't move over and across to each other. So you, your left pad stays where, bra pad stays where it needs to be and so does your right. Um, so that took a lot of craft as well and a lot of technicality. So that's why I always say, yes, a design can look really beautiful um, at first sight, but what about the construction behind it? What about how it fits? How does it mold? How does it actually stand the test of time? And the thing is, if I, like you've just done that, if I pull, that's just gonna yank it too much. Essentially, it's effortless, right? When our community wears it, they should just not have to wiggle it around too much. You should yeah. kind of sit on them. Processes are difficult. I, I think, you know what blows my mind sometimes, and I always like find this really, really funny, when, when people make reviews and they're like, oh, if they had just only moved this here, if you move one thing, 
even to the left or even to the right. It could mess everything else up. And that was me at the beginning. I was like, why, why can't we do it? Why can't we achieve it? Why can this be like that? And I'd get so frustrated because I didn't understand. I didn't understand the technicality of what goes into making one pair of leggings and really finessing all the detail and information. So now I understand that a design process takes so long because we have to consider all these checklists. I'm not just trying to make a basic legging, I'm trying to make a legging that's gonna make someone feel so incredible about themselves. So it takes longer. We have a checklist, we have to approve all the checklists, we have to ask ourselves specific questions, we have to get the supplier on board so the supplier understands what we're trying to achieve. We also have to find the right suppliers. Are they ethically approved? Do we feel confident and inspired by them? Are they treating everyone they work with well? There's so many questions behind things it's not just as simple as here's a design go make it in a random factory we don't even collaborate with it comes back to us after two samples we're fine with it and off it goes there's a lot more steps than just that so it's definitely not easy it's probably the hardest hardest process is the design and production process but to me like from a trainer perspective like yeah. when i'm training that now to me won't cut yeah, yeah, yeah. it will do that yeah. The thing is, it's also like it'll be a bit more relaxed, right? I'm really good, yeah, 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 but it'll be course. more relaxed. It's too much side So when I'm laying to no, do yeah, a chest yeah, press, everything's coming out. Everything's so. coming out. Mm. Whereas if it's here, mm. nothing's it's coming out. The color palette that we choose at Honor Active, oh my gosh. For me, picking a color formula and a color palette is by far the most thought out process for Honor Active. Ocean till it's vibrant. Yeah. 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 It's like a jewelry vibe. Like yeah. Are you really? Oh god. I don't see that the foundation, the foundation never. So then yeah. if ocean till is vibrant, what does that make electric blue? Neon? No, That's why I'm number one, internally we always ask the question, does this look good on majority skin tones? If the answer is no, we simply don't do it. And I feel like as a brand you can't just preach and talk about inclusivity in a selective manner. You have to do it as much as you possibly can on multiple streams of your company. So one of those multiple areas is colors. And I think that colors are kind of overlooked. So a lot of people choose color palettes than what are in season or what might look good on a specific color, to color skin. But I really cannot stress enough how important it is to make as many people as possible feel extraordinary. And that starts also with color, not just fit, not just style, not just what we stand for, but also the color that they're putting on their bodies. So for example, that's why I try my hardest not to do too much pale tones or too many skin tones, too much blossomy tones, just because the pink on uh, lighter skin tones won't look as nice or as great. We also have a skin specialist coming in and helping us determine what shade of color looks good on what skin tone. I truly believe if you want to diversify your brand and if you want to be as inclusive as possible, it's not just about the sizes you have, it's, just, it's not just about the women you showcase or the men that you showcase in your brand. It starts from a, something as simple as a color choice and a color palette. So what we decided to do was create an internal color formula. And this internal color formula is based on, let's say, eight base colors. And then from there, we branch out to a lighter shade and a medium shade. So this is just a very simple diagram. But we will look at mineral green now and we will ask ourselves, does mineral green go with zest? Does it go with jade? Does it go with khaki? If it does, then those are our four green colors for the year. This means that per collection, we will now select which collection is going to represent this color at which drop and which time. So what this enables us to do is people can mix and match older collections with new, new collections. They can they can find the same color in a different collection. That's why with Effortless Collection, we wanted to launch with five colors we knew and when we were, we were so confident that will look good on pretty much any skin tone in the entire world. Right. The ethos of Effortless is that it should be effortless to put on. Therefore, the original colors, the original colors are effortless. They, you don't think about these colors when you put them on. You know navies, a safe bet, 
midnight is a safe bet you know black is a safe bet sage rosewood taupe you know all these colors are safe mm. that's why we couldn't do such a, a bright color because it was just there's going to be so many more colors to come from brighter colors to more muted colors but there will definitely be something for everyone you think it's easy picking colors <laughs> you think it's easy picking names <laughs> By the way, this is the wrong size. This is a very, very tight small. But we just, this is a sample we have. And we are going to be going to the States if the States open to shoot this campaign. So the team need to understand exactly the fit, the, the styles, why we've gone for it, the fabric, the designs, absolutely everything. So then the campaigns and social team can really understand it before they start building their concept around the campaign with myself and also know how to speak to our community about the effortless connection. Today, a package has come to the Honor Active office that we have all been waiting for for a year. Like this is not a joke, this has been a long time coming. A brand new collection, the effortless collection at Honor Active that everyone has been working so hard on. These are our photo shoot samples. So, just so you know, essentially, you create the collection and then you get photo shoot samples so you can do all your photo shoot campaigns and everything in preparation for launch. And oh my gosh, Rosewood is back and bigger than ever before. Guys, look how nice that looks. Midnight. Oh, that's nice. Deep tote. So it's really funny, the way we've shot Effortless in our campaign was actually really strong and really powerful and impactful. And the reason we decided to do that is because Effortless to me is such an elegant line. It's sophisticated, elegant, effortless, sexy, confident. It's very feminine as well. So what I decided to do was shoot it in a really like more rigid, gritty, working out, strong, fierce campaign. And it's because I want to show that as women, we have different complexities to us. We can be soft and we can be feminine, but we can also be super strong, powerful and impactful. I think to be honest, it, like it, you need to work out a little bit. Yeah. So it's way more natural because right now it's too static and it's not you. You need to look like you when you work out expression like it's difficult it needs to come to life and you can have all sides of you as a woman so that's why i thought combining the two elements together was exactly what effortless is about was exactly what strength training is about was exactly how i want all women to feel when they go to the gym when they pick some weights up even when they go running whatever makes you feel strong and impactful that's how effortless should make you feel what can we expect for Honor Active in 2022? Ah, okay. Um, I'm so excited for you to finally see what these crazy geniuses are doing behind the scenes. Why we're so ambitious about color. Why we are so adamant to make everybody feel so welcomed in this brand. And why we want to make everybody feel so extraordinary in every type of way. So I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited for the changes we've made, the feedback we've taken on board to revamp specific collections that you've already seen with, let's say, Lounge. We're so excited to show you brand new collections, brand new fabrics. So many community experiences are coming your way as well. Um, I just hope I don't lose my hair whilst I'm showing you all this and doing it all, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, really nice. <gasps> oh my God! This is... Oh my God! <laughs>